Today. Okay, today, I would like to share the amazing drunken staff of a Kung Fu with you. As we just finished our drunken fist course, so we would like to share some of uh, this amazing art with you in YouTube as well, because this is such as amazing artists. Not only Kung Fu is artist, it's in there, in the drunken face, they have lots of amazing things like the kicks. This is called the Mighty House Kick and the Tornado Kick. See here? Huh? Right? And they have some groundwork, which is landing ground your ba ba. Okay, and you can move and slow here, you move up here. Yeah. Right? So ground work, kick work, and plus emotional work. It's why it's amazing. It's that you have to put yourself into other focus, other concentrated level. Then you can damage this brilliant art. So really exciting, I can't wait to share with this. In the next few weeks, I'm going to make some very interesting and key movement in the drunken face with you. So hope you get understand why we do this Kung Fu, why we do this drunken style of Kung Fu. So yes, don't forget to subscribe our channel if you didn't yet then you won't miss the videos for the next few weeks. And then also, if you're interested in particular, particular movement of the drunken fist, let me know. I will try my best to share with you. Leave the comment below, okay? Now, so let's get started. We start from the fourth movement, drunken steps. Okay, because this drunken step is very important. The drunken step is the main things in the drunken fist. Drunk, 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 he's always drunk. So this, it will be drunken steps linked to the um, punch. Drunken step, look at the um, kick. Okay, the drunken step with the um, kick, butterfly kick. So this is linked to building up the body motion. That's why it's really, really important. So now, let's get started. Come on. The steps with five steps, the drunken step first, ready? So you step one, two, three, four, five. Five steps, out again. The left leg step first, one, two, number three, across the direction. Three. Number four, big across, kick up. Four, and number five, recover your back. Okay, five steps. Now, attending this way, you can see, the step, two step is very small steps. So one, two, very small step. Number three, across the body, leave. Leg coming to small. And number four, whoa, get the power and back. What? Four, five, that's the ending. Okay, something you need to notice is that when we do this, the fourth step is move your body away. Okay, to defend yourself. You stay here, this is the point, then you move one, two, wow, look what's going on. Number third, number three step is move body away, across. 
So three. So you change little miss the central line. Number four is big recover and come back to where you're standing on. So and again, so I'm standing here. Okay. One, two, move across the middle central. People will come in, pound your kick here. You miss them. And use the leg, generate the power, moving them back. Use the shoulder, head back. The back of your position. So when we do this striking steps, basically use the wave body moving around to generate the power, swing up to become attack. So also this is the art. Why use drunken steps? So you need to feel drunk. Uh, maybe you do, you did never drunk, but we use some certain uh, techniques uh, to make you feel drunk. <laughs> Not really by alcohol, but for example like a, a ice, a drunken eyes. Okay, the emotional heavy headache, like ah, oh, hiding. So we use this attic, uh, the muscles to build up your drunken feelings. Once you move this area, then you got the body more heavy, more swing around, and actually getting more power. This is why. Also, the steps, not only for fun, basically you let you more understand is I ask Greg will you come in to give you a little bit of help to easily understand why we're doing this, Greg. So again, this is just like a, for showing you how it that works. It's no for real fight. It's just for how to learning and learn simply. And later on, it depends how you training then become useful or not. You see what I mean? So just calm down yourself, okay? Let's learn, make a simple learning force. For example, if Greg here, if coming coming to kick me or punch me, so I use my step, miss this distance, I turn it around and use my body, make a curve area to Head back, miss distant side, curve, make a curve to build the power, like a rugby, like a use the shoulder, like a oh, okay. But now we're going to use similar transition uh, uh, moving, but use this area. Here is a strong oh, head back. So try it again. So if you come and kick, wah, bang! <laughs> it's like this feelings, okay? So again, uh, my neighbor is like uh, shoving the grass, so maybe you can hear him that. <laughs> okay, just let you know what's going on. So again, when we learn, it's a five steps. One, two, three, four, five. But in the reality, when you need to use, you can reduce them at three steps. If you like, say for example, you miss the changing, hating. That makes sense? Say, step, miss the distance, coming to hit you. Change the session, miss the target, curve, <sighs> hit in. Right? So it looks like here, step, step, moving, <sighs> hate. Then continue to the next movement. Okay, that's it. That's basically the drunken steps. How we learn gently make the drunken fist. Okay, that's it. And also, if you're really interested in this drunken style, drunken fist, we are currently making the drunken forms. So we'll be soon we'll be public in our website. If you're interested, have a look. All right. Thank you and enjoy that. Thank you, girl. Thank you. Good.